It's dandy here with the DR100 Watt concept pro project. What we have today is the internal block diagram of the equalizer module, that module that is attached to the microcontroller. In the earlier presentation and videos, I have presented the control module which runs by the microcontroller and uh, one of the modules that is attached and interfaced to the microcontroller is the uh, equalizer module. So we are going to take a look it's about the equalizer module. Here is the exploded uh, diagram of the four major black diagram of the equalizer module which is now uh, we can see that the um, power supply is basically now composed of uh, five blocks uh, and the uh, DGTC solution comes with the internal block diagram already and as well as the uh, EQIC uh, solution so let's take a look at the uh, power supply first let's start with the uh, AC signal so this is the uh, 12 volt AC signal and uh, it will null and uh, it will fed into the bridge uh, rectifier so the bridge rectifier will uh, rectify the AC signal into some kind of a pulsating DC and that pulsating DC is uh, filtered by the capacitors so, so um, we should have an input of a 12 volt AC or higher and then um, we get a resulting of pul pulsating DC and that uh, output is a DC signal which is also uh, fed in to supply the control module internally within the um, equalizer module there is a regulator which is uh, regulate the DC voltage to a constant uh, 9 volts uh, DC and uh, this 9 volts DC is, is split into um, two sections uh, one is going into the GTC solution and the other one is going to the EQIC solution so what about this control here the use of this uh, control circuit here is for the power management because um, the uh, DGTC solution IC and the EQIC solution IC they do not have the uh, means to control the uh, power, power down they don't have uh, either hardware control or software control so the uh, guys who designed the circuit uh, basically want to perform the uh, power management in the power supply by controlling the regulator and uh, the way to control that is by means of the microcontroller the power management basically is that uh, when the system is uh, in the stand mode or in the sleeping what the microcontroller do is that uh, it will send a logic level to this um, I.O. and then it will shut down the regulator so what will happen then is that uh, basically the, the regulator will also sleep and will output a theoretical uh, zero volt to the uh, PSU splitter thereby all the supplies of the EQIC and the DGTC uh, solution will be zero making it that the um, equalizer module will consume a uh, theoretical of a zero current but um, in the real world uh, there is still a um, little amount of power being consumed but uh, that's okay we are in the real world anyway the next block of the equalizer module is the DGT solution or the digital tone controller basically as its name implies it's basically a tone control and uh, it uh, accept an audio signal the left and right or the stereo input uh, fed into the um, gain block of the circuit uh, and then and then the output is basically again an L plus R or left and right stereo and it is fed in into the EQIC solution the other input of the DGTC IC is the uh, I2C or the um, um, I squared C uh, control 
which basically a protocol to uh, control and access uh, the IC. The other input is the power supply, which is the uh, plus 9 volts uh, DC. Let's see the uh, audio signal input. Uh, I mentioned that uh, this is a stereo L plus R and it is fed into the gain block. The purpose of the gain block is that um, if there is a um, low level input signal then uh, this block uh, will going to increase um, the signal. Well of course it is uh, programmable by the I2C so if you wanted to uh, increase a low level signal let's say we have a 100 millivolt input signal here then if we wanted to increase the 100 millivolt to by uh, let's say uh, 10 dB then uh, we can do that by means of uh, I2C control the next block after the gain is the uh, volume control so basically this is what we are interested to use in the project by uh, using the um, this function which is um, the intended purpose is to increase and decrease the system volume the next block uh, after the volume control is the bus uh, which is uh, responsible for boosting or cutting the low frequencies of the audio spectrum and the next block after the uh, bus uh, is the travel so the travel here is um, responsible for boosting the high frequencies of the audio spectrum. So the bus and the travel is basically um, the uh, tone control uh, section. The next block after the tone control section is the attenuator or um, in the uh, data shield it was specified as the speaker attenuator. So this is an independent uh, left and right uh, control by uh, differently attenuating the left and right at a different level. We can say basically that this block is uh, the balance control uh, where um, you can actually uh, um, put the uh, left signal into a zero output or minimum output while making the um, right uh, channel into maximum output. So that's basically what we do when we uh, do the balance if we have the uh, potentiometer all right so uh, internally inside the IC we have the uh, I2C block uh, which is uh, the interface to the microcontroller so basically this is a two wire lines three wire lines if you want to include the ground and internally within the IC also we have its own uh, power supply and grounding so um, again uh, the DGTC IC is a hybrid uh, grounding system where we can have the uh, analog ground from the uh, stereo and another one is the digital ground which is from the uh, microcontroller. So we're gonna take a look at that uh, how we are going to isolate between the um, analog ground, the power supply ground, and also the digital ground. The next block after the DGTC solution is the um, EQIC solution. Alright, so uh, what we have here is the uh, output of the DGTC, which is uh, an audio signal, the left and right audio signal, is uh, fed in into the uh, input states uh, so we can see this is a buff, buff see this is a buff buffer and uh, the buffer output is uh, fed into the mood so the mode is responsible for generating the uh, different um, music environment like uh, classic pop jazz and also include the uh, defeat or normal the um, after the mode is the um, turbo bus uh, which is uh, responsible for enhancing the um, low frequencies of the audio spectrum and after that uh, we have the uh, 3d sounds uh, so after the 3d sound we have now the uh, audio output uh, which is also in the stereo left and right uh. 
Also internally on the uh, EQIC solution, we have the uh, LED driver. So this LED driver is uh, responsible basically to drive the uh, LEDs for different uh, mood, the turbo bus, and the 3D sound. And uh, also internally, we have the uh, supply and the ground, which is, uh, um, this is not a hybrid uh, grounding system. It is basically just an analog ground. So what is this control here? So the control here is um, uh, being um, accessed by the level converter. So this control here is about the uh, the mood control, the uh, turbo bus control, and the 3D sounds control. Because the um, uh, EQIC solution is a high voltage, uh, that is at uh, nine volts from the PSU splitter, then. Um, the controller is from the microcontroller which is uh, 5 volts so there is a mismatch of uh, voltage level between the EQIC and the microcontroller so we need a level converter which is um, used to uh, translate the voltage uh, from uh, 5 volts to 9 volts or vice versa from uh, uh, 9 volts to 5 volts so that's basically the uh, purpose of the level converter here The fourth black and the last black of the equalizer module is about the grounding system. So um, basically we have two kinds of grounding here. One is a digital ground and the other one is an analog ground. The digital ground is uh, from the microcontroller and the analog ground is uh, from the audio signal systems. Let's see how the uh, grounding system is implemented internally within the equalizer module itself. Here is the grounding system that is um, implemented into the um, equalizer module internally. internally. Let's start with the uh, PSU ground. So this is basically the um, grounding uh, resulted uh, from the uh, power supply uh, circuitry. And then um, they have the common points here. So this is the common points that uh, is implemented by um, what we call is the single point grounding. This is the DGTC grounding which is um, isolated uh, from the other ground by means of uh, 33 ohms. So the digital ground is um, isolated from the common point grounding by an inductor and uh, the EQIC solution is that uh, the grounding is uh, directly connected to the PSU so we can say in here that the uh, power supply ground and the analog ground is basically tied together meeting at one common point uh, talking about the uh, audio signal and um, any noise uh, that is uh, generated within the system is uh, being here at the speaker so um, our best enemy here is about the digital signal oh, sorry for the noise um, I'm saying that our best enemy here is about the digital signal which is um, um, if not being taken care of it will interfere to the analog signal what I mean is of the low-level analog signal being processed here in the equalizer module. So um, the major issue here is that uh, this uh, digital signal, which is the I2C signal, it tends to interfere to the low-level signal if the grounding system is uh, not properly uh, managed. Well, uh, we're gonna see uh, that um, uh, issues and problem when we do the uh, functional test of the system. Then uh, um, in um, that uh, DIY learning, uh, we can see how the um, digital signal affect the analog signal as we can hear from the speaker. Here is the actual equalizer module composed of the uh, DGT solution 
and the EQI solution. And based on the LEDs, I can judge that um, the function, the uh, effects is uh, 3D on is on, turbo bus is on, and the mood is um, in the rack. So currently, the uh, equalizer module is interfaced to the uh, control module. Now the software is running OK. That's the end of the block diagram presentation for the equalizer module, also known as the R100 Watt EQ. And thank you for watching. Find my other videos about the R100 Watt concept.